Bodie the Movie Maker here. This is the moment of truth. A $300 Unreal Engine PC that I call the Budget Beast versus Unreal Engine 5.4 Preview. It's the newest version of Unreal Engine. The moment of truth. It's installed and we're gonna launch it for the first time. Keep in mind, this build has a GTX 1080, a 12 core Intel processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM. It doesn't technically meet the base recommended specs for Unreal Engine, but in Unreal Engine 5.3.2, it did amazing. I've got high hopes. Keep in mind, we are this used GTX 1080 is driving two 4K displays. We've got an external monitor recorder, which is recording at 4K 60 frames per second, and it's driving this Dell 4K monitor. Compiling shaders, finalizing, building static meshes. It's happening, it's happening, yeah! All right, so we're in. Quality settings maximum. Starter content on, ray tracing on. Unreal. Testing. So, what would this mean? If Unreal Engine 5.4 runs on this $300 budget beast, that would be really good news for people on a budget. You can follow my build guide. All of the parts are available in the description. You can find links to all of the parts, including the used ones. And so if we can get Unreal Engine 5.4 running on this, that means that the cutting edge, real-time 3D tool set is available to the widest audience possible. Compiling shaders, 45%. This is notoriously uh, time consuming. Some of our CPU cores are hitting the 40s. Not bad. A few moments later. So here we are in Unreal Engine 5.4. It is working. And in this first little demo here where we've got the basic first person shooter map open, we're getting 30s and 40s frames per second. Then in this zombie project I purchased for my short film based on my novel, we are in the high 40s. And here's a zombie's crotch, just in case you wanted to know what that looks like. Now playing the actual zombie game in the nighttime environment, you can see we're dropping some frames and our frame rate's kind of all over the place, but it's working. Not optimal performance, but keep in mind we are driving two 4K displays. Now during the daytime scene, we're in the mid to high 50s for the frame rate. And I'd say we're doing really good, respectable for a used budget beast. Kill him, die, die. Are you trying to go to the back room? back rooms are you clipping into the the liminal space so here we are engine scalability high we've brought some assets in uh we've got lumen on thus we can see the bounce lighting happening here off of the red square onto the white uh sphere and all of these mega scans assets have nanite enabled we got a few uh we got we got lumen reflections, lumen real-time global illumination happening. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. We've got these characters. Now let's make an animation sequence and see how long it takes to export it. So now we've got a very basic animation setup where we've got, it's like eight seconds long. Our character is walking in place. We got a light moving and we got a camera animating and we're changing the focal length. The focus point, capture movie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and left, 
Okay, so it's done in approximately 20-ish seconds. Pretty cool. We captured that movie. All right, so we just clicked render using the movie render queue. We had to enable that in the uh, plugins. Okay, so did it already export? Okay, so there they are. There's my series of high resolution JPEGs. That rendered pretty fast, right? I know it doesn't have a lot of render passes and I realize it's only 1080, but I think we're doing pretty good. I think this PC is, is pretty good, right? For 300 bucks. Now there's really just no reason not to get started in Unreal Engine. And yeah, everything takes longer on uh, less expensive, less powerful hardware, but it's still totally accessible and you can get started and you can create things. And uh, so anyways, you know, we'll try to throw some more difficult stuff at it, but um, for basic needs and for pretty much all of the functionality that you are would be looking for in Unreal Engine, you can get with this PC. And again, importantly, the global illumination and Nanite just work, which is, uh, you can't say the same for Apple computers. So, you know, for those of you who are like, oh, I've already spent so much on my Apple computer, but I really want to get into Unreal Engine or Blender, you know, but I don't want to spend money on buying a PC now that I've already got this great Apple computer. Well, you don't have to spend a lot to get Unreal Engine working. And as Michael says, hell yeah, it's great. Great PC. What more do you need? He knows what he's talking about. This guy's making some really cool stuff. Sign up for the giveaway. We're gonna be giving away the uh, Budget Beast PC. And if you'd like to support my work, check out patreon.com forward slash Bodhi the Movie Maker, where you'll get access to the short films, the novels, It'll get you credited in the back of the book when they are published to the public. It gets you access to the private community, a 15% off discount on merch. There's hundreds of posts, including many illustrations by myself and the professional illustrator Gus Trouth. It's just five bucks a month with no commitment. Plus, you'll get shout outs at the end of videos like this. There is a free version of the Patreon, and we'll even throw in a 5% merch discount for free Patreon members. Okay, love ya, bye!